Hello, this is Josh Bilnitzer, the Director of Music and Communications here at St. Mark's Lutheran Church. I wanted to thank you for volunteering for our assisting minister position, and these are the volunteer instructions for that position. First, throughout worship, please follow along with the bulletins, which I hear are made with much love, and please read the parts that are marked with a, that means assisting minister. These are scripture readings, if it's not a gospel, the creed and the prayers and the dismissal. So just keep an eye on that. This next part is optional. If you would like to participate in the processional, you will follow the acolytes. Move at a steady and reverent pace and pause and bow your head before you enter the chancel area. You will notice that the acolyte will be doing the same thing, so just follow the acolyte. Then go behind the altar and place the Bible on the left side. Bow your head and return to your seat. Here is an example of that. And you're going to see our Academy Director, Christy Brewster, lead this. There she goes with the book. She's making her way now to the chancel area. And she's going to bow. There she goes. Now she's going behind the altar and placing the book there. Now she is headed back to her seat. Following the children's sermon, or During Jesus Loves Me, which we sing every week, please move the Bible from the altar to the lectern. Bow after you pick up the book, and the scripture reading will follow, which is you, unless it's a gospel. On Communion Sundays only, you are going to help prepare the table for Holy Communion. You can do this by uncovering the communion vessels on the credence table, uh, placing the corporal cloth on the center altar, placing the wine trays at the front center of the altar, and then place the bread trays and chalice on top of the cloth. Following the offertory liturgy, assist with Holy Communion with the pastor as well. You will be the other bread station. All right, and then the recessional. Again, this is just like the processional. This is optional. So during the sending hymn, you will pick up the book of Gospels from the lectern, bow behind the altar, and follow the acolyte in the recessional. It's just like the processional, but it's reversed since we are exiting. Here's an example of that. All right, she picked up the book, bowing behind the altar, and she took a pause there because she waited for the acolyte to finish, and there she goes. Great job, Christy. So here's a video now of the entire processional. So this is, this is what happens at the beginning of the worship service during the gathering hymn, to be specific. The crucifer leads. In comes the acolyte. And guess who's next? That's right, it's you. All right, so the crucifer is going on the step while the other ministers proceed him. There's the acolyte going up and lighting the candles. And there you are as the assisting minister. Waiting for the acolyte. And then going around to that left side of the altar where you will place the book. And following this, you will go return to your seat. How simple is that? Now we're going to fast forward. This is the end of service. This is the recessional. So this happens during the sending hymn as a reminder. Right, taking the book off of the lectern, bowing behind the altar, 
There we go. All right. There's a good close-up of the Crucifer and Acolyte. And there you are as assisting minister waiting for the Acolyte to finish. And once the Acolyte is finished, you will follow her in this case. Then the pastor will follow behind you. And remember, the processional and recessional are totally optional as assisting minister. And once the sending hymn finishes, you will say from the back, go in peace, serve the Lord, the, the dismissal, and everyone will say, thanks be to God. And the postlude will begin. All right, thank you very much for volunteering and watching this instructional video. I will see you on Sunday.